Loving the villain is never bad, right? A fan fiction by Foxita. I can't believe you did that, Lord shouted. Like I said, it's not my fault. You should set what channel to change it to, God answered. At Saint's house, huh, thanks for letting me sleep over, Saint, Ephra said. Honestly, it was no harm for you to stay over. Do you want breakfast? I have some left over at Olive Garden. If that's okay, Saint asked. Really? That would be amazing! Ephra said happily. Okay, Saint replied. As he went into the kitchen, five minutes later, the doorbell rang. Oh, same. I'll get the door, Afma said. Oh, hi, Lawrence and Garib. What are you doing here? Afma asked. C can we talk to you in private, please? Lawrence asked. Yeah, sure, what's wrong? Why is Kaylin, Kawaii Chen, Travis, Aaron, and Dante doing here? Afma wondered. Well, it's about... <sighs> it's about you and Zane. And you guys being a, a thing. He's, he's a bad guy and we don't want you to be hurt by him. But if he really is a nice guy, you can do what you like, Juan said. I, I, uh, uh, Afma was cut off. And Zane walked in. Well, who cares what you think? I... I love... I, I love her. And I will always love her. Zane shouted. And kissed her in front of everyone. Afma was bright, bright red. Z Zane, you... Rapha said, embarrassed. Well, I have to go home and puke. You coming, God? And Trav? You coming, God? Travis and Dante? Lawrence asked. As he walks home. Yeah, coming, Travis, God, and Dante said. As they followed Lawrence home. Well, your breakfast is done. You should go eat before your food gets cold, Zane said. E e yeah, d d d d d thank e e you, Afma replied as she went back inside the house. Uh, this, this was really good, Zane, but I should really be getting home now. Oh, okay, F.O. Okay, see you later, F.O. Zane said. Th thank you, F.O. left the house, leaves. At the house. Caitlin, Kawaii Chen, explanation now. Kawaii uh, Chen, go to the room. <laughs> well, Lawrence, it was Lawrence and Garrett's idea. And they just want to make sure that you're okay. Ugh, I'm going to kill them. I was totally embarrassed. You, you guys just saw us, you know. And that was just embarrassing. You know what? I'm going to kill Lawrence Garrett. At the house. What do we do? They love each other too much. <laughs> Jet cried. It's not our fault. Lord, that was a terrible plan, Dante responded. Hey, guys, at least it was something. We just have to make sure she was okay. But now we're just gonna lose her. What do we do? Lawrence asked. The Suddenly, the doorbell rang. I'll give it, God said. Uh, 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 Afal, what are you doing here? Uh, um, d d Get, you come back here right now, 
Ava walks into the house. What were you guys thinking? I can't believe you guys did that. Oh, that was so embarrassing. We're sorry. We just... No, just... I just came here to make sure... Just... To make sure that you guys know... I cannot... Accept you as friends anymore. So, from now on... We are no longer friends. I'm sorry. I've not leased the house. That was... Loving the villain is never bad, right? And here's a part of the next fanfiction that's gonna come out, because I have a bunch of more. Love me like you always do. So here's a part of it. Enjoy. The doorbell rang on Zane's house. C come in. D Afma, will you... Why... Do you have packages? Zane? I decided to move in. Is that okay? I... Uh, um... Sure, I do have another room. It's free if you want. But are you sure? Don't you live with Kayla and Kawaii-chan? Yeah, but... I just need some space. And I thought about you, so... I guess why not? Oh, uh, okay. I can show you to your, your, your new room. Th thank you, Zane. After a couple of minutes, Afma was all settled in her room, laying on her bed. Zane was downstairs watching My Little Pony. You know what? I need to talk to Zane. Afma rushed downstairs, like she was in a hurry or panic. Zane, I... I need to talk to you. What's wrong, Afro? Is everything okay? Yeah, but... Do... Do you love me? What do you mean? I, I told you that I, I love you. Hey, I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. But yeah. I kiss you in front of all your friends. How does that not show my love and affection? Saint asked, as if he was kind of angry or something. It's just, I just don't know. It just didn't feel like it. Afro said, "Well, I do. I love you with all my heart. And if anybody takes you away, Saint starts to starts to tear up." I don't know what I'll be able to do. Because I love you with every single evilness that I have in my body. I wish I was different. I don't even know if we were meant for each other anymore. It's insane. But for you, I would do anything. Anything for you. Zane rushes to his room, accidentally bumping into Afma and slams his door. Hope you enjoyed half of that. Oh, I can't wait for that part. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm the creator, but yeah. Like always, I love you. Hope you love me too. This was Fox Rita, and peace out.